Hello there guys and welcome to part 4 of our Java gaming program tutorial on the Asteroids game. Today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and define our bullets class. So we're going to basically define the bullet, how the bullet will appear in the screen and and you know uh, sort of how the bullet can be viewed and so on. So to get started, if you didn't watch the previous tutorials guys, go ahead and watch those. Are very, I mean, you kind of need to watch them in order because those are kind of a build up up to this point. So waste no time let's go ahead and create and let's go ahead and new class here in our package and let's call our class bullet I'm not going to, I don't want the public name there so I'm going to get rid of that and let's go ahead and import java.awt.rectangle there we go and let's go ahead and our bullet class will extend our parent class which was vector shape and let's go ahead and comment here just to keep our code neat and very basically clean so let's put here bullet class inherits all the public methods and properties of the vector shape class. Oh, class. There we go. And I spelled bullet wrong here, so let me correct that. All right. The reason I'm getting this error here is because when I call when I name the file, I call it I spell the bullet wrong. So to do that, I'm just going to rename it here. Bullet. There we go. So I corrected the spelling there. The bullet. All right. Now let's go ahead and put another comment here. And let's go ahead define boundaries. Bullet boundaries. Start there. Boundaries. Did I spell this wrong? Boundaries. Boundaries. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and have our public function here, public rectangle. Just like in our ship class. We call it get bounds. Let's go ahead and rectangle R and let's set that equal to a new rectangle and let's call our method get x from our parent class vector shape and typecast it to be an int if you remember that was a data type of double Let's do the same thing with the Y to get our locations here. And we want our bullet to be a one by one here shape. So we're gonna have a rectangle one by one there. And then we just return our rectangle there, our boundary. Alright, next thing here, let's go ahead and put a comment. And uh, let's say um our default constructor here. Constructor. All right. Let's go ahead and type public. You know the class, which is bullet. And now we, since we inherited all the all the methods, public methods and properties from our vector shape class here, we can go ahead and call the set shape method and assign that to a new rectangle and let's set that zero zero one one and let's go ahead and call the set a live method from our parent class and let's set it equal to false since this is not a ship so we do not need to see it unless it's firing and here we're setting the the width basically and uh, the width of so we want our bullet to be only one pixel in size. So we want to be one pixel um, 
long shot because it's, it's, it looks like bullet because we make it much bigger than it will look kind of weird when once we're firing upon the upon the asteroid. And let's put a comment here. And let's say here creating our bullet shape. Alright, so we have our bullets there. So this is basically our bullet class. Let's go ahead and save our project here. So um, we have our boundary here. And we need this is very important because we need when we are doing um, the uh, collision detection. So we see if something, if the asteroids have been hit or the ship has been hit and all that stuff. So we, this is very important, the, the bounds. And then we have our constructor here, which we're, so we, we will get the shape of the, of the bullet, which we want it to be one pixel. This is tiny, but it looks, it looks very, it looks m much better than making it bigger because bullets, that would look kind of awkward. And then we're setting the state here to be false. So once we're firing, the state will change to true once we're not firing. We don't want them to see bullets when we're not firing. Okay guys, so this was, we went over our rectangle, uh, sorry, not rectangle, our bullet class here. So we defined our bullet class. Our next um, class, we're going to go ahead and define our um, asteroids class. So that will be uh, our, our next tutorial, so it will be part 5 of the asteroids game. And then after we're the done defining that, then we're going to go inside of our main class. And that will be basically um, extremely long. So that will be a pretty good amount of code in there. But that's, ba that's where pretty much, that's the class where everything will be happening, basically, where we are doing all this collision detection and um, basically everything. So that's basically the, the brain of the program in there. So that will be for last. Next, we'll, next part four, it will be very important. We will be defining our asteroids class. So thank you for watching the tutorial, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel or seen my other tutorials, go ahead and do that as well. It's truly appreciated. Uh, subscribe to my channel, leave comments with any suggestions or concerns you guys have, rate all the videos, that gives me a lot of feedback if you guys like the videos and or if you guys don't. So, And thank you for watching this tutorial guys and please stick around for, um, for part 5 which is coming up very soon. Thank you for watching guys.